Hello everyone, welcome back. We saw for the value of x given this exponential uh, equation. We have 7 raised to the power x plus 1 minus 7 raised to the power x minus 1. This is equal to 12. So what is the value of x solution? Okay, so we have 7 raised to the power x plus 1 minus 7 raised to the power x minus 1. This is equal to 12. So you're saying we have 7x plus 1 minus 7 this to the power x minus 1 is equal to 12. Okay. So we can rate this 7 this to the power x plus 1 as 7 this to the power x plus. Now 1 can be obtained by saying 2 minus 1. Okay. If you say 2 minus 1 is going to give us 1. Okay. Minus 7 this to the power x minus 1. This this is equal to 12 okay so this will give us 7 raised to the power x minus 1 plus 2 minus 7 raised to the power x minus 1 this is equal to 12 now we introduce the identity that states that a raised to the power n uh, plus m this is can be expressed as a raised to the power n multiplied by a raised to the power m okay so we apply this identity in our case here for the first part okay so that we will have 7 raised to the power x minus 1 multiplying by 7 squared minus 7 raised to the power x minus 1 this is equal to, to 12 okay now as you can see 7 raised to the power x minus 1 it's common so we factorize we factor out 7 raised to the power x minus 1 so if you factorize you are going to remain with 7 squared minus 1 this is equal to 12 okay so if you say 7 squared this is 7 squared is 49 minus 1 this will give us 7 raised to power x minus 1 uh -huh. you will have 48 because it's 49 minus 1 this is equal to 12 and divide both sides by 48 by 48 okay so that you'll have 7 this to the power x minus 1 this is equal to if you simplify 12 by 48 you'll have a quarter so you'll have 1 over 4 okay now to solve for the value of x again we introduce the log logarithm identity okay so that will have log 7 this to the power x minus 1 this is equal to log 1 over 4 and remember if you have a or rather if you have 1 over a this can be expressed as a raised to the power negative 1 okay so that means you can have log 7 raised to the power x minus 1 this is equal to log 4 raised to the power negative 1 okay now again we are going to introduce another logarithm property that states that if you have log b raised to the power a this can express can be expressed as a rog b can be expressed as a rog b okay so we transform this part you will have x minus 1 rog 7 this is equal to we also transform this one by applying this property so that we'll have negative 1 rog 4 okay so we divide both signs by rog 7 and the other side by rock 7 okay so but now you're going to have you're going to have you're going to have x minus 1 this is equal to minus rock 4 so we do rock 4 divided by rock 7 okay okay so we then we transform again x you take this negative one the other side it will have one minus rock four divided by rock seven okay now our x is one minus rock four over rock seven again applying the logarithm identity that state that if you have rock a divided by rock b this can be expressed as rock this can be expressed as rock a to base b okay so we apply this identity in our part here so that we'll have x is equal to 1 minus rog 4 
to be 7 okay so this is our value of x so we want to verify to verify if this our value of x is correct we want to verify if it is correct okay so remember we hand our problem our exponential equation as 7 raised to power x plus 1 minus 7 raised to power x minus 1 this is equal to 12 so we want to verify if it's true that you we need to get 12 okay so we substitute the value of x which is 1 minus rock 4 to be 7 okay so that if you substitute you'll have the first part as 7 raised to power 1 minus rog 4 to be 7 plus 1 minus 7 raised to power 1 minus rog 4 to be 7 minus 1 this is supposed to give us 12 so now we have two parts we have the first part and now we have the second part okay so let's deal with the first part so our first part our first part it's 7 raised to power now this is 1 minus rock 4 to be 7 plus 1 so 1 plus 1 this is 2 so we'll have 2 minus rock 4 to be 7 okay so what is this now remember if you apply the um, indexes property that state a raised to power n minus m this can be expressed as a raised to power n divided by a raised to power m okay so we transform this in that form so that we are going to have 7 squared divided by 7 raised to power rog 4 to be 7 okay but again we apply another logarithm identity that states that if you have a raised to power rog a to be m this will definitely give give you a, an answer of a okay so if you check our denominator because the numerator is 7 squared on our new I mean denominator we have we have 7 raised to power rog 4 to be 7 this definitely is going to give you an answer of 4 okay so instead of this this part of 7 raised to power of 4 to 7 and uh, to be 7 we substitute with 4 okay so the first part definitely will have 7 squared divided by 4 okay this is our first part now if you check our second part our second part our second part was um that is 7 squared this is our second part 7 raised uh, to power 1 minus rog 4 to be 7 minus 1 okay so this is 1 minus 1 which definitely gives you this one is just you will have 0 so that you, re, you retain 7 raised to power minus rog 4 to be 7 and again applying <laughs> applying this particular identity this is supposed to give you 4 raised to power negative 1 okay this is supposed to give you 4 raised to power negative 1 okay so definitely we are going to have and remember, remember we have seen that if you have a raised to power negative 1 this is the same as First part, first part and the second part so that we'll have 7 squared divided by 4 minus 1 over 4 let's see what we'll have here we have the LCM we determine the LCM of the least common multiple we'll have 4 4 divided by 4 this is 7 so 7 squared is 49 and then you have 4 divided by 4 which is 1 1 times 1 which is 1 minus 1 so this is equal to 49 minus 1 which is 48 divided by 4 okay. and if you simplify uh, what is written before this is going to give you 12 if that is true remember that the left hand side is supposed to be equal to the right hand side okay. and we have clearly shown we have clearly verified that our left side is equal to 12 which is equal to 12 which is resembles what is in the right hand side and that proves that our value of x 
days and kindly remember to subscribe kindly remember to subscribe